Hi, it's Sandy Parker and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today we're going to do an unboxing of a bunch of fancells.com diamond art, diamond paintings. Hope you'll stay tuned. So I bought one of these. It's a light pad from Amazon a few months, well, many months ago. And it worked great for a couple of months and then all it does is flicker and it drives me crazy. So when Fancel said, will you pick some of the tools to use and then also some of the paintings, I was like, great, I really need one of these because mine is making me nuts. So here's how these work. If you've never seen one, it's very thin. See, it's like that thin. And it's probably 14 inches wide by 11 inches tall. That's pretty standard, I think, size-wise. I'll measure it at some point here for you. And then it comes with this um, like layer of plastic wrap, we'll call it. The thing that I'm not good at and I know a lot of you are probably going, gee, Sandy, everybody has a phone. I'm not into having a phone. I use my home phone, and Rich has a cell phone. If I need cell phone action, I use his. I have my own. I just don't use it. And so this little gadget where you plug it into one of your electronic devices doesn't thrill me but that's what all of these light pads uh, come with is not a regular electric plug yes you can attach an another deal onto this it will make it work with a plug but um i'm not doing that because my light that i have here i got this light at on um, amazon a long time ago it's really nice it um, has a fan in it, which, you know, for all, all of us old people, you're not going to see really well for a second because I'm going to show you the back. On the back of this, it has the the um, things where you can plug these in. I'll probably plug it in upside down 20 times and then I'll have to get it in there, right? Okay, so that's all you do to get it to work is you just plug it in like that. So I thought I would try this for the first time with you and then you could see if you like it. Now... Um, I also have one of those magnifying lamps that I spotlight down on this because there are three, okay, that was for, let me back up. There are three levels of light here. I always keep mine on the brightest. Then you lay your diamond painting, and I'll show you one of the diamond paintings that Fancels sent me. It's really sweet. It's this little, it's this little bird. I have a thing about birds, obviously. Anyway, you set that on there, and then you can see really well through the um, the canvas. The thing that I had trouble with is then once I had my diamonds up here, if I didn't have really good lights, which if you know I, I do it on my dining room table, I don't have great you know I don't have these kind of lights on that table. So I bought a magnifying lamp that I really love that has a plug on it. Plug, you know, I have a thing about a plug. And it also, it's one of those ones that has a clamp, but it also has a base. And I like the base because my dining room table has a lip about this thick and there's no way that, that clamp would work on that and it also makes it so you can like move it around wherever you want it on your table but anyway um, I needed one of these um, light pads as I said because mine is a flickering thing let me tell you a little bit well I'll let me get my light pad out of here and then I'll go on to telling you a little bit more about this little fella this is I don't know if you can see it right there is the image i'll have rich put the image up here on all of them so you know exactly what they look like size wise of the actual image not the canvas as you know the canvases will say things like 30 by 30 which that doesn't help you because you need to know how big the actual painting is and the painting isn't 30 by 30 the canvas is in case you didn't know that about diamond art okay and this is it's about nine and three quarters inches wide and uh, about nine and three quarters inches tall I wouldn't have guessed that it looks more taller to me than it looks wide I'm gonna do that one more time because you know I'm, I'm it seems like a mystery to me how that could be we're sticking with it nine and three quarters 
So that is um, this painting. Of course, it comes with the diamonds and the little boat that holds the diamonds, plus a pen and some wax. You always get those. And these are round diamonds. And boy, this has got the greatest grid. You can really see those numbers and letters. I love that when, when you don't have to really work at it to see them. So that is the first piece of diamond art that I got. Let me tell you about the other tools because they're right on top. I got this pickup brush. The reason I got it, first of all, it's great because, you know, you can sweep up anything that you've um, spilled. But the thing I liked about it on this other end, I don't know if you can see, this is like gooey rubber. I'm all about that because then if you spill some of your diamonds, you can pick up a big load of them with that. And so that's why I got this tool. I'm all about easy pickup on my diamonds. The next thing I got was this, it's called a diamond draw pen. And I am not sure. I saw this and I thought that's really cool if that works. We're going to see if it works. What it does, it, it comes with a bunch of diamonds and they're not just regular diamonds. They're like the crystal ones. Okay, then I got these to put on cards. They're little individual, I'll call them embellishments for cards, I think, is what, I think that's what they are. Okay, here's what they look like. You got a bunch of gold cord. Of course, you get your diamonds. It's nice they send you extra bags for them and uh, the pen and the little boat and the, the wax. Then you got a big birthday cake a present. Sorry about the glare. A cupcake, a piece of candy, another piece of candy, a lollipop, some heart-shaped balloons, another lollipop, and that looks like a hat, birthday hat maybe. So here are the embellishments that I'm going to be putting on a card. Finished. I really think they turned out cute and I'm going to be making another video where I'm using these on cards, but I wanted you to see them as they're finished because I think they are really fun and frisky and um, I really liked how they have so much detail on them. They usually, when you have something this small, you don't get this much detail, but I really like the little, the little candies. I think they're fun and the suckers are fun. Oh, it's all fun. Of course, the cupcake, you know, I love anything with a cupcake on it. It comes with a string that you can put through these holes, but I want to have a special string or I'm going to cut that off. I haven't decided when I make my card, so I'm not attaching the string that came with it. Okay, then this one is really fun. They package this so well. I, I can't even tell you how impressed I was by the packaging. Here's what you get. This is awesome, the packaging, honestly. I have trouble seeing the camera overhead. Like, I, uh, when I set up my, my view area, I have to look in the, above the camera, and I can't do that. So, I got this cupcake. Look, it's a compact mirror. Isn't that the coolest thing? So you probably can see my camera up there. Uh, but anyway, um, it comes in this really nice case, and it's got beautiful diamonds. Here's the pocket mirror completed with the cupcake on it. And there's the mirrors. It's really nice mirrors inside. I don't want to flash too much on it. And then the back is it's nice. It's a nice leather case. It's a good size. It's um, three and a quarter inches tall and uh, two and a half inches wide almost. I really thought this came out nice too. I'm happy with it. Back in there. Next up, I know a little boy who's going to be turning one very shortly, and I thought it'd be really fun to uh, do this. Um, it's a clock. The handle hands for the clock are in with the diamonds, and there are the diamonds for it, and there's the accessory. Isn't it adorable? I think it'll be so cute when it's done, and it just takes a couple, one battery. Uh, it takes a double A battery. 
Isn't that fun? I think it's fun. I'm excited about that. I've talked about this before, but my sister and her husband are um, Catholic, and they are very, very into the Mother Mary. And this intrigued me. Now, I've made um, Mother Mary images, diamond paintings before, but this one is cool. I'll show you why. Hold on. It comes with its own frame, which is this black piece, and then it comes with a, like a tassel, and of course the diamonds and the Mary. Isn't it cool? So I'm going to give that a whirl. I don't think it'll take very long to do because this is what's called a partial diamond painting. You only do the diamonds on her. Everything around her is not a diamond. So um, it shouldn't take very long to fix, finish her. And um, I'll make sure, as I always do, to show you what she looks like when she's finished. Then, next up, well, I'll show you. You know how I have to have a notebook. This one, just, I loved it. I thought it was adorable. I had to have it. It's um, the usual unlined but it's a fish that has an attitude and I had to have it. Look at her, that face, it's adorable, isn't it? Gotta have it. So I will be making that shortly. And then I am gonna do a video where I'm gonna show you my storage for the crystal diamonds. When you do any of these um, small projects like the journals or the notebooks or the um, compact or these little uh, cupcakes, they usually are crystal uh, diamonds, which means that they look more like these. You know, those are crystal diamonds. And so um, I have a lot of those left from those projects. So I made my own storage from it, and my friend Sherry showed me her storage, and that's what I am replica I replicated. So thank you, Sherry. You're always there for me. I have a notebook that, it's a three-ring binder, that I put those in. And I got this. This can be used as a wall plate. Wait for it. You're going to you're gonna love this. Wait, I want to put a beautiful background under it because it's so fun. Okay, you ready? Tell me this isn't the sweetest thing you ever saw. She's plastic, and you they said put her like by a wall plate on, on a wall, but um, I'm going to put her on the front of that notebook um, for my diamonds. Isn't it cute? I think she's the funnest thing I ever saw. I know I get too weird about this. I'm sorry. Here's one of my favorite pieces. I'm going to do another video showing you how I'm going to use this, but I wanted you to see it finished because it's really, really, um, I think this one is really, I don't know, it just attracts, it, it just, it's just too cool for words. I'm just saying, I love it. This, I think, now maybe I have one more non-diamond painting that I want to show you. This is another little um, zipper purse. It's a dog with glasses. I think it's very, very sweet. And I think this is probably the same size as the other one I made. Five inches. It's by, about five inches by about four and a half inches. Four and a half inches across and five inches tall. Here is the dog purse. Finished very sparkly. Oh, let me tell you how big that that um, ostrich is too. The ostrich is about five and three quarters inches tall and about, I would say, four inches wide at, the, at its widest point. Then I got this. It is a pencil box that you put diamonds on and I'm going to use it to hold okay I'm going to use it for to open um, it's got a really nice opening and then it has this little part on the end um, theoretically you would put like um, erasers and things in 
that's going to have to loosen up for me to be able to open it up. But of course, all the diamonds are inside. It's a nice plastic and um, it is total eight inches long and about two and a half inches wide and almost mm, like seven eighths of an inch um, high. And I think it's really pretty with that mandala look. Here is the pencil box finished. So here's what I'm using it for. Uh, in the pencil box side, these are all my extra diamond pens. And these are all of the extra um, wax pieces that I have. You, since you get a pen with each um, project and you get a um, wax with each project, you accumulate them quickly. And I thought it'd be fun to store them like that. Aren't they pretty? I love this case. I, anything with the mandala, I, you know, I'm all about it. So that's that finished. I think that's the last of the non-paintings. I didn't get many paintings this time, but I did get a couple. This one is huge and really fun. This is a big one, as I said. Well, it's not big. There's not a ton of diamond work on it because it's another partial. If you've done diamond paintings, then you know um, that this has been around, this pattern has been around for a while, but I thought it was so much fun. And since I'm newer to diamond paintings, I you know wanted to give it a whirl. Okay, size-wise, I iron mine, in case you wondered how you get those uh, wrinkles out, you know, the lines that are in this, I iron mine and I put a towel over them and I put a, I put my iron on a non-steam setting and I do it kind of a lower, um, a lower temperature and then if I don't get the wrinkles out on a lower temperature, then I go higher. This is 15 and 3 quarters inches wide and I'm assuming yep it's a it's the same in 15 and three quarters inch tall and it's got round diamonds and these are the crystal ones and I really like those crystal ones because they make it so sparkly and beautiful you'll see it when it's done I got this for a little boy who is just born his mom and dad loved Disney and I wanted a simple Mickey Mouse that I could really um, frame and I love the blue in it. I thought it was really, you know, just so vibrant and pretty. And it is, get my ruler out, it is, wait for the secret, it is 13 and about a half. And it's, uh, let's see, nine and three quarters inches wide. I think I already said the they are round. No, I didn't. The diamonds are round. I think it's really, it's really a classic. I, you know, it's got the classic Mickey Mouse up here. I just think he's really a classic image that will stand the test of time. And then, because the people at Ben Cells are really nice, they let me give you guys another image diamond painting this is the diamond painting i'm going to be giving away hopefully you can see it i ironed this one already so that it would lay flat for the video and i'll give you the dimensions on it it is nine and a half inches by 13 and a quarter inches tall. It's round and look at those colors are just so vibrant and beautiful. So here's the drawing. What we're going to do is I'm going to um, choose from the comments below the video. Um, all you have to say is I'd like to have Mickey and um, if you'd be willing to give me your email address, that would be great because it's much easier for me to contact you if I have your email address. But if you don't want to, or if you know I already have it, then you don't have to do that. And I will draw the, um, the winner on June 5th. 
I'm going to give myself a little bit of time to get this video up to have some of these um, projects finished to put in the video. So that is the extent of the haul. I hope you enjoyed it, that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.